In previous editions of our Tech Tips newsletters, we've covered the reasons air water syringes leak and how you repair them. But because syringe repair is so simple, we offer this video of a complete syringe rebuild as a companion to those newsletters to show you that anyone in the office can do it. Thank you for calling American Dental. How may I help you? We're going to be performing a full rebuild of two of our most popular syringes, the DCI Push Collar Syringe and Beaver State's Quick Tip Release Style Syringe. In order for us to pick the correct repair parts, we're going to need to remove the buttons from the syringes. Both the DCI and Beaver State syringes use a retaining pin to hold the buttons in place. Some syringes use the friction of an O-ring to keep the button in place, while others have threads on the buttons. Some ADEX syringes use a small set screw to retain the buttons. In order to remove the retaining pin, push down both of the buttons and use the skinny end of a metallic syringe tip or even a stiff paper clip to push the pin out. Once you have gotten the pin partially out, you can use a pliers to pull the pin the rest of the way. Once your buttons are out, grab your American Dental Catalog to find a match for your button. We have the syringe components available separately, or you can get a kit with all the parts you need for a full rebuild. Now that we know which buttons we need, we'll want to gain access to the components at the front of the syringe. To do this, you'll just need a 5 32nd inch Allen or hex wrench. For most syringes, simply remove the syringe tip from the tip holding assembly, put the wrench into the hexagonal hole, turn counterclockwise and the entire tip holding assembly will unscrew. The components in the quick release style syringe assembly consist of a tip nut, two syringe tip o-rings which will hold the syringe tip in place, a skinny adapter nut o-ring which seals the adapter nut to the head of the syringe, and a small adapter nut o-ring which keeps the air and the water from mixing. Now it's time for your repair. You'll want to remove the old o-rings and that can easily be done by using a scaler. On the quick tip release syringe, the O-rings will be replaced on the brass adapter nut and then the adapter nut will be screwed back into the head of the syringe. A quick and easy way to seat the two syringe tip o-rings would be to slide the syringe tip through the tip nut and then slide the o-rings onto the tip and pull out the tip to seat the o-rings. Finally, screw the tip nut back onto the adapter nut and then tighten it down with your Allen wrench. On the DCI or collar syringe, the collar assembly is removed by inserting the Allen wrench into the tip hole and turning counterclockwise. There is an O-ring on the threaded portion of the collar assembly and one that fits into the head of the syringe as seen here. Once the collar assembly and the collar spring have been removed, take your scaler and remove the skinny o-ring from the threaded portion of the collar assembly, just like last time. Don't forget the small o-ring that sits behind the assembly in the head of the syringe. Replace the O-rings you just removed with the new ones.
Once you've replaced your O-rings, reassemble and install the collar assembly. Note the notch in the collar on some collar syringes. Make certain that this notch is lined up with the pin at the bottom of the hole where the collar assembly will screw. you want to depress the collar fully before tightening to make certain it is properly aligned. If the notch is not aligned with the pin, you won't be able to depress the collar. The method for replacing the buttons on both the Beaver State and DCI syringes is the same, so we'll just show you the process once. Next, we'll want to return the springs to the button chambers. If these are cone-shaped springs, you'll want the small portion to face upwards toward the bottom of the button, and then replace your buttons. Be sure to hold down both buttons as you slide the retaining pin back in so you don't damage the o-rings on the buttons. As you can see, these simple repairs can be completed by anyone in just a few minutes, and you saved yourself the expense of a service call.